I've seen a lot of films in my life. Um, you know, I grew up watching films like The Usual Suspects, there's The Shawshank Redemption. Um, there were films by these international people that were just films. It was beautifully made. It was The Godfather. Um, and all of those were narratives, they were stories. They were just something nice to watch. They were evocative and they were, you know, provocative. But they were just nice. They just evoked emotion. When I watched for the first time, I watched Sarafina. And there was some sort of standstill in my life and I just watched it and I just realized what was actually happening because we were shielded from this, um, this suppression called apartheid, this, this, this era by our parents. We have recollections of it but we, we never experienced it firsthand. So when I watched Sarafina, I was like, this is, this is insane. Um, that, that not racist outright, but that racist in me started coming out. And I started looking at white people differently and I started blaming them for their repercussions and, and everything that's, that was happening in this, in this country. And it was clearly something that was really, really strange for me when I watched it because it affected me emotionally so much that I had to, I had to speak, speak back to it, speak of it, speak about it. Um, I had to have an opinion for the first time in my life about another race, another culture. I had to have an opinion about people that were well off and people that weren't. Um, I had to have a strong opinion on something that represented me, not just a, an outright, vague, um, generalized you know, response to, it, to something. It was very personal. So Sarafina was the one that I watched and it, 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 made, me, it, oh, it made me cry, man. It made me angry. It made me just realize who I am and not this facade, as this image that we sold of one another because you go into a Model C school and your friends are white. You, sell, you get sold an image that perhaps you might be white or it doesn't matter, you don't see your skin, but then you rob me of my most immediate point of identity, which is what I realized, and that was my skin, my blackness, um, my cousinness, my Africanness. So that, that movie just brought it all out for me, and I'm so grateful for that. It's just bloody amazing and sad and infuriating. My passion for what I do is, is driven by this there's, this, there's this child in me that wants to be heard, basically, and that has seen a lot and wants to say a lot and wants to explore a lot. That's where my passion comes from. I need to, I need to speak for, I need to represent, I need to be the leading and the driving force. I always ask myself if I was born in the midst of the apartheid days where I was old enough to be uh, a stone thrower or, or an activist or a comrade or a cadre, what would I be? Where, where would I fit in? Would I be too scared to join the masses and you know, throw rocks? Would I... And those answers we can never, we never answer. Those questions we can never answer, but there's something deep inside of me that says I would not have just said back.